Wastewater Dam presents wastewater math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example is to calculate conversion of acres per foot per day into gallons per minute, which is GPM. Today's problem reads, convert 0.873 acres per foot per day into GPM. So to solve this problem, we're going to set up a formula to find the gallons per minute, the GPM. We're going to do this by taking the acres per foot. In this case, we're going to put it in as a decimal. And we're going to multiply that by the conversion factor from square feet to cubic to acres. And then we're going to multiply that by the conversion factor to gallons. And then we're going to divide that by the number of minutes per day. So the numbers will be acres per foot is 0.873. The conversion factor to acres is 43,560. The conversion factor to gallons is 7.48. And the number of minutes per day is 1,440. So let's see how we're going to insert this into an Excel spreadsheet. So you can open up a blank worksheet if you like. And you can put your cursor in C1 and type convert acres per foot per day into GPM. And you can put your cursor in A1 and format, format it as numbers with zero decimals. And you can then set it as bold and centered. Then you can go to the address bar for A1 and you can type in this formula. Equal sign, three open parentheses, 0.873, close parentheses, multiplication key, open parentheses, 43,560, close parentheses, multiplication key, open parentheses, 7.482, close parentheses, division key, open parentheses, 1,440, close parentheses, and then press enter. And in A1 is your answer, 198 gallons per minute. So that's your answer. So I hope you found this video to be useful and helpful. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I urge you to participate in Interact, and you can do that by going to my website, environmentalacademy.com. You can put your cursor over the drop-down window by the word email, select any choice, fill out the form, submit it, or you can just uh, send an email to the email address on the top of the web page. In any event, I thank you for listening to this three and a half minute video and see you soon.